Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of UA Eats. I'm UA. Today I'll be staying at the world famous Plaza Hotel. You might be seeing it behind me there. Now it's been my dream to stay at the Plaza ever since I've seen Home Alone 2 when I was a little kid. And today I get to make that dream a reality and show it to you guys. So let's not waste any time. Let's go check it out. My goodness, yo guys, this is crazy. Now this is without a doubt the most beautiful hotel I've ever seen in my entire life. I feel like I'm in like a palace or something. All right guys, I got my Kevin McAllister hat on, my Home Alone 2 hat, let's explore the plaza. When you first enter, you're greeted by this coat of arms like thing on the ground that looks like it's tile by tile inscribed or something. This very Beauty and the Beast carpet-like thing, a beautiful flower display, chandeliers. The roof is just covered with ornate designs. It's just so beautiful. Everything is gold-plated and it's such a serene place. I mean, I'm trying to keep my voice down just because I don't want to disturb the serene, the super sophisticated setting of this place. Everything is just crazy beautiful. Chandeliers everywhere, smooth jazz playing in the background. These columns are unreal. Closed off? That won't stop me. Oh, just kidding. Private residencies. I better go back. I think this is supposed to be Eloise or something. It kind of looks like her. More amazing chandeliers. Oh my goodness. These look like crystal chandeliers. This whole thing must cost a pretty penny. Probably more than my entire net worth. Let's check out the shops. Ah, it's Eloise again. I wonder if they'll have Macaulay Culkin at one point. Actually, it looks like they have a whole Eloise store here, but we won't be able to tour it since it's Tuesday, so, ah, damn it. Now, I really think this place has a palace vibe to it, so I guess they're really playing up the royalty angle here. A lot of fancy jewelry on display or for sale, I'm guessing. <laughs> More Eloise. Good thing we got Eddie the Bear here, keeping watch over us the whole time. Should we take the staircase up to the forbidden section of the West Wing? Let's take a look. Very eerie, very quiet. I'm not really sure what this place is. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like Hogwarts almost. So I actually just talked to some staff and it looks like this is a ballroom. We found the grand ballroom, so let's check this out. Oh my goodness! Now it looks much better in real life than my camera is picking up. It looks like, you know, Belle and the Beast are gonna start dancing in the middle here with some talking candlesticks and teapots. Some candlesticks, gold all over this place, cool archways. Now just imagine hosting a wedding reception or some sort of party in here. It would be wild. <laughs> I just realized these aren't just mirrors, they're also doors. So let's see what's behind here. Whoa! -ho. Now this has kind of like a Phantom of the Opera feel to it. You know, it's like a palace, but almost like a palace where I would expect Mozart to perform for the Emperor or something like that. Oh, it's closed off? Okay, sorry about that. Uh, what room is this? Ballroom, okay. Okay, I just got kicked out because I just found out that this ballroom is actually closed off, but that's okay, at least I got to show it to you guys. I think that's enough exploring for now. Let's go eat! Oh no! And I just found out that it's actually closed because of COVID. They haven't reopened it yet, so... Maybe someday. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video sometime. Let's just go check in then. Maybe we can get some food afterwards. Now, it looks like this is a bar, but it looks like this bar is also closed. So it's kind of just a really cool waiting area. But even without the bar, it's still a really cool waiting area. Everything is beautifully decorated, not gonna lie. Golden chairs and a cool golden table. You can sit down here and play chess or something. A nice view of what I think is the champagne room. This is a private bar just for hotel guests. 
Okay, now that's enough exploring. Let's go check in. Now, I do want to say one thing. The Home Alone movie made this place seem much bigger than it really is in real life. They make it seem like it's this huge hall, and Macaulay Culkin even needs to ask Donald Trump for where the front desk is, but, but the opening hall, while beautiful, really is much smaller than the movie made it look. And the lobby is literally right there. There's no way even a kid could miss it. But that's just the magic of filmmaking, I guess. Hi, uh, would I be able to check in a little bit early? Uh, yes. Oh ho ho, pretty cool. All right guys, this is a fancy schmancy room. Let me show you what we got. I got really lucky. I originally booked a Plaza King room, but they upgraded me to a Plaza Deluxe King for free. So yeah, it's a better room. It's a little more spacious. Not quite the Macaulay Culkin presidential suite, but as far as normal hotel rooms, pretty fancy room. Everything about this place makes you feel like you're in like a European palace from this golden mirror of Erezed here. With a fancy mirror like this, I feel like I'm in a fairy tale. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the best YouTuber of them all? There are no normal doorknobs here. All their doorknobs are fancy with engravings and stuff. And you know it's a fancy doorknob when you can't actually turn it. You can only push it and pull it. We got an area here with two love seats so I can sit here and watch some TV later. I'm not sure why they indented these pillows like this for design, but I don't really like it. And a very beautiful coffee table. It may be a normal TV, but everything around it is anything but normal. This cabinet is some fancy wood with some fancy door handles as well. That's chipped for some reason, so, you know, I guess they could do a better job maintaining some of this. I once watched Amber Scholl's YouTube video about these crystals, and apparently these are really fancy crystals, so let's not touch those in case I break one and suddenly I owe the plaza $10,000. But they got these fancy crystals on both sides of the TV, so maybe it helps with surround sound or something. I'm not really sure what their obsession with these Renaissance paintings are, but I guess it's kind of cool. A fancy golden candlestick. Kind of reminds me of Beauty and the Beast. Bonjour, I am Lumiere. All right, I'm gonna put that down because it's actually really heavy. Just a beautiful crystal chandelier hanging above my bed. Very cool. Yeah, I guess I'll sleep easy knowing Queen Elizabeth I is watching me. Next to the bed, a really cool and cute looking clock. It's just like Beauty and the Beast. We had Lumiere and now this is Cogsworth. Lumiere, tell Belle not to go into the West Wing. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, nothing special, but haha, <laughs> I love that it lights up. What about in here? Okay, nothing either. Ooh, but look at this. Your butler would be delighted to brush and polish your shoes. Okay, I guess I'll consider this later. Let's check out the bathroom. Whoa! Oh man, awesome! Yo guys, check it out! Now this whole bathroom is just covered with cool tiles and cool decorations. The whole bathroom is just stunning. Just check out all the gold. This is gold. That is gold. This thing is gold. Or gold plated, I guess. A golden mirror. A little golden tray to put the soap on. A golden whatever this thing is. Actually, it looks like these are cotton swabs and pieces of cotton. I really dig this towel holder. It's really fancy. Let's check out the toilet. Okay, so that tile extends all the way over here. A golden toilet paper holder. Too bad the toilet's not golden. Aha, but it has gold on it, and the plaza has its own toilet paper. And just like the Borgata Hotel, it looks like you can call room service while you're on the john, so that's interesting. All right, guys, let's check out the shower. Beautiful tile and gold all over the shower. Haha, <laughs> you might call it a golden shower. I won't go there. And just like some fancy hotels I've been to, like the Borgata, you can control the temperature of your water, so that's cool. And we get these bathrobes. So I'll definitely be wearing this at some point. All right, guys, let's test the bed. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Honestly, this bed is big. It's comfortable. 
It's a really, really comfy bed. I could hang out on this bed all day long if I wanted. I don't even need those couches over there. One of the keys of a five-star hotel is having a really comfortable bed. That's one of the perks of going from four-star to five-star. So hopefully this will keep me well-rested. One more thing. It looks like I have a view, but it's not a Central Park view. I have a city view. Yeah, those railings are super rusty looking. Uh, they don't look great. They really need to maintain this place better. Maybe that's what all that construction outside is about. And I don't really see much view here. I mean, it's city view, but I kind of just see the skyscraper and nothing else. Try to get Central Park view if you can, if it's not too much money. All right, guys, I'm gonna go outside and head to Central Park for a bit. Alright guys, we climbed to the top of this rock in Central Park uh, with a sick view, but I think I feel some raindrops coming and I don't want to get caught in the storm, so let's head back to the hotel and relax for a bit. And stay dry. Alright guys, we've been relaxing for a few hours now, so it's time to eat dinner. So get rid of this hat, put on the Kevin McAllister hat, and let's order our cheese pizza. Yep, so well. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so much. All right, guys, my pizza was just delivered, so let's check it out. Honestly, it smells so amazing. So it's not a completely cheese pizza. I wound up getting cheese and pepperoni because, cause you know, I'm spending 500 bucks to stay here, so I might as well try more than one topping. On the left, we got our Kevin McAllister approved cheese pizza. And on our right, we got pepperoni. And the pepperoni looks like it's infused into the cheese. Like it's not just a layer on top. Well, I can't wait. This seems really good. I can't imagine this is gonna be better than my staple New York places, but, but it already smells much better than I expected. So let's just dig in. Now, first we gotta try the Kevin McAllister cheese slice. All right, bite number one. Mmm, oh man, oh. Hey, that's good. That's much better than I expected. It's not really your typical New York slice. I mean, just look at it. The pizza is smaller. It's a personal pizza. It doesn't have those big foldable slices, but the cheese is really fresh, really cheesy, really flavorful. It's just great savory cheese. Honestly, it's just exactly the kind of pizza that a kid would like. And if you're staying at the Plaza Hotel because of Home Alone 2, like I am, then this is perfect. This is exactly the Kevin McAllister pizza that I imagined as a kid. Oh, man. Mmm. Mmm. All right, we knocked out the Home Alone 2 slice. Now let's try pepperoni, just to try more of the plaza's menu. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. I mean, if there's one thing the plaza is doing well, is great ingredients. Okay, so when it comes to pizza making, they got a thing or two to learn. It kinda is more flatbread-like than pizza-like, which I don't necessarily mind. I'm, you know, I'm just saying compared to all the great pizzas in New York, this is not gonna hold a candle to like Joe's Pizza. But hey man, if you just want like a good quality pizza with good cheese. Basically, I'm getting a Ninja Turtle slice of pizza, and it's exactly what I want, reenacting Home Alone 2. Hmm. I'll check back in a bit, guys. I want some alone time with my pizza. All right, guys, we knocked out the pizza, but there's one more Home Alone thing we need to knock out, the ice cream sundae. Now, I feel like I should mention that the plaza actually offers a Home Alone sundae, and it's 16 scoops of ice cream, a whole lot of toppings for a whopping 300 bucks. Hell no, I'm not gonna pay that. In fact, the plaza actually offers a Home Alone package. You get a cheese pizza, a Home Alone Sunday and a limo ride around town, all for only 2,000 bucks, not including the room. But I see no reason why I can't stay here and just order everything separately, so hopefully the Sunday gets here soon. Hello. Yes, you can. Okay, guys, the ice cream 
has arrived. Now this ice cream sundae looks different from any other ice cream sundae I've ever seen. It's not really served in that sundae glass, but in like a metal bowl. I kind of like it. I feel like this bowl might help keep it cold as opposed to glass, which I feel like is more permeable to heat. And I got one scoop of each flavor. This is chocolate, vanilla, and macadamia with whipped cream, cherries, M&Ms, and I think nuts as well. Let's try it. Okay, chocolate first. Ooh, hey, that's great ice cream. The ice cream is soft, not too icicly, not too crystally, but also not like super soft, like soft serve. It's like a perfect in-between. Oh man, it's just everything you would want from ice cream. I'm sure they don't make the ice cream in-house. I'm sure they get it from somewhere, but they have a good supplier. Let's try another flavor. Now, is this vanilla or macadamia? I feel like this is macadamia. Mmm. Oh, man. Oh, that's great. That is definitely macadamia. That tastes really good. It almost has kind of like a coffee-like flavor to it. Oh, that is excellent. That is even better than the chocolate. Last but not least, let's go for vanilla. Here we go. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh. Really fresh vanilla flavor. It's my least favorite of the three because I like the chocolate and the macadamia more, but that's a solid vanilla. It has great fresh vanilla flavor. If I had just opted for three scoops of vanilla, I would have been more than happy with that. All right, guys, in true Home Alone fashion, I'm gonna have some alone time with my ice cream sundae while I sit on my bed and watch TV. Alright, rise and shine. I just had a super relaxing evening in the Plaza Hotel, living my Home Alone 2 dreams, and also just living my best life with tons of room service. Let's start the day with a shower. Alright guys, I love taking showers in nice hotels, and I'm sporting a spiffy Plaza Hotel bathrobe. Hello, sir. Alright guys, so it turns out that the butler actually charges to iron your pants. Never mind, I'll just iron them myself. But I do want to share some thoughts about the hotel in general. Uh, this is a nice hotel. It's very fancy, it's very beautiful. I got a good deal. It was still a hefty $500, but that's better than the normal price of $1,000. Especially since they upgraded me to a deluxe room for free. But I do think the service leaves some room to be desired. Let me clarify, the servers, the room service servers, great. No complaints about them. However, the other services were a little bit hit or miss. I think the concierge services are not the best. They mostly just call you sir a lot and they know your name. But other than that, I don't think the concierge services are that great. They definitely are a little impatient in tone. I've had better service at normal places in Japan and also in the South. And not five-star hotels, just normal hotels. There also was an incident where I actually signed up for a late checkout of 2 o'clock, but they forgot that I got a 2 p.m. checkout. So they came at 12 o'clock and told me I had to check out and then realized they made a mistake. So I, I service here leaves a lot to be desired. Out. Not quite five star quality, but everything else is good. The food, the decorations, I think 200, 300 bucks might be fair. 500 bucks is too steep. A thousand dollars, I cannot in good conscience ever recommend that you stay here for the sticker price of a thousand dollars. Just don't do it. It's not worth it. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna go change for afternoon tea. I'm gonna go film afternoon tea at the Plaza Hotel. Check out my video on that whenever it drops. I hope you enjoyed watching my stay at the Plaza Hotel. If you like my videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you later.